Welcome to Club Volleyball Inside Out. My name is Lindsay Kotecki and I'm one of the club coaches here. The purpose of this video is to give you a brief overview of how we run our juniors teams and what you can expect during the season. Hopefully we will be able to answer most of your questions during this video, but if you have any questions after watching, please feel free to contact us. The club director for Inside Out Juniors is Rick Rixey. Rick is the owner and president of Inside Out Volleyball and is also the head coach at Muskegon Community College. In addition to directing the club, Rick also oversees all of the training of the teams, plus he coaches one of the Inside Out national travel teams. Lindsay Balcom is the office manager and is the person you would deal with regarding all club payments. Ted Etzel is one of our master coaches and helps with all of our positional training and hiring of coaches in Muskegon. Ted also coaches a national travel team. For our Inside Out Morley program, Matt Koju is in charge of all practices for each of the teams, the hiring of the coaches, and also coaches one or more teams. Our coaching staff consists of college coaches, some area high school coaches, as well as current and former college players. By using a wide range of coaches, we feel that we can effectively reach more players as each coach brings a unique perspective to the court and how they teach but also how they relate to the players. We like having the younger coaches because they tend to stress more fundamentals since they are currently practicing these in their own playing careers. The more experienced coaches also help to mentor our younger coaches and are more adept at dealing with any issues that may come up during the season. Most of our coaches have had experience working with or playing for Rick, our club director, in the past and know what he wants taught. We offer two levels of travel teams, national and regional. Also, the schedules vary slightly from the, the Muskegon teams to the Morley teams. National teams practice two to three times a week and play mainly two-day events. We have two possible schedules for our national teams to choose from. Typically, they decide on a schedule after the team is selected. Regional teams practice two times each week and play in the Power Leagues as well as one to two tournaments. The Power League for the regional teams are one-day events. When you're filling out your chat form, please be sure to indicate all levels that you are interested in. All of our teams compete in a combination of power leagues and tournaments. During the winter club season, all of our teams participate in either the two-day open power leagues or the one-day club level power leagues. During the spring season, our national level teams do not play in the power leagues, but instead play all multiple day tournaments. Power leagues are nice for all of the regional, team, regional level teams as it is a more set schedule and you are only in the gym for six hours at a time. Tournaments are typically more competitive, but they also require a much higher level of commitment as the schedules can vary greatly and you could be in the gym all day. Power Leagues are basically a series of tournaments with multiple rounds over a three to four week period. It is aimed at creating more equal play as teams move up and down as each round is completed. Teams are composed of nine to 10 players. Players are placed on teams based on their age, ability, commitment level, and position. We do not allow players to be on a team below their grade. For example, a ninth grader can only play on a team that is a 15s team or higher. Even if she is young for her grade and would qualify for a 14s team, we would not place her on that team, as she would then be playing mainly against 7th and 8th graders. You can also not play below your age. For AAU Volleyball, your age is determined as of September 1st in the upcoming school year. Teams are also constructed based on position. The average team would carry 1-2 to two setters, 3 outside hitters or right sides, 2-3 to three middle hitters, plus a couple of defensive players. This allows each player to have a role or be able to compete for playing time at their position. As a coaching staff, we have to try to balance what the player wants to play as opposed to what we feel they are best at doing. A player might make a higher level team playing a different position than what they are accustomed to playing in school, but we also recognize that sometimes they have to stay with that position as it is necessary for their school team. Be sure to indicate on your forms if you must play a certain position. If you must be placed with another person for ride share purposes, be sure to indicate this on your tryout form. We do not encourage this, especially for the higher level teams. If one of you is more skilled than the other, you'll be placed on the lower team since we will not move someone up levels um, just for rideship purposes. There's a $30 tryout fee. If you paid for the winter tryouts, you do not need to pay again in the spring season. Tryout forms can be turned in at the first day of tryouts, or you may mail or email them in prior to that. We encourage each player to attend as many tryouts as possible so we are better able to judge the level where they will be most successful. We run our tryouts more like a practice where we do give instruction during the drills. Sometimes it takes a new player a little time to get used to our drills. We try to look for the potential we see in each player's rather than just the skill level that they are currently at, knowing that each player is receiving different levels of instruction based on the school they are at. The more we see a player, the greater the chance that they will see their full potential. 
Age determination is as of September 1st of that club year. We do not allow players to play below their grade levels. Each club has their own policies regarding playing time. Some clubs require that everyone plays the same amount, other ones will only play the, the best players during competition while three to four kids never see the floor. We are somewhere in the middle. We do not do equal playing time, never have and never will. If you want equal playing time, then we are not the club for you. We also do not feel that some players should hardly ever play. Everyone should play. It just won't be equal. Some players will never come off the floor, others might play half the time. It is rare that a player would see less than 40 to 50% playing time. They still might sit out a game, but overall everyone should be participating on a regular basis. Keep in mind that playing time is earned. If you never come to practice, it is going to be difficult to earn playing time. If there is ever a playing time issue, the following steps must be followed. First, player talks to the coach and asks what they need to do to earn more playing time. Second, if that does not resolve the issue, then the parents would contact the coach or club director to set up a meeting which would include the player, parent, and coach. Third, parents may not approach the coach before or after a match to discuss playing time or how their daughter is being utilized. Must wait 24 hours before contacting the coach. Things such as strategies, substitution patterns, or other people's playing time are not open for discussion. Only those things that are related to your daughter's role on the team or how to improve are open for discussion. Our player fees include everything associated with the cost of the team, like court fees and tournament entry fees. It does not include any uniform expenses, travel costs, AAU memberships, or any extra tournaments that the team may decide to add to their schedule. Jerseys are required and are the only part of the uniform that you must purchase. You may choose to add that cost onto your total club fees if you wish to do so. We do try to use the same jersey for a few years in a row, so hopefully you do not need to purchase one every year. AAU memberships must be done on your own each year. You need to be an AAU member in order to participate on our teams. All payments must be made in person at Inside Out in Muskegon, online, or by mail. Do not make any payments through your coach. The $30 tryout fee should be paid when you come to tryouts. You may pay that ahead of time online as well. We do require a $200 deposit by the end of tryouts in order to be placed on a team. This will count towards your total fee and is non-refundable. If the deposit is not made, you will not be placed on a team. After the deposit, we have two payment options. One, pay in full. This is typically due a week or two after tryouts. For the spring season, we do offer a discount to players who played in the winter and pay in full in the beginning of the spring season. Two, make two installments. This requires a credit card. This option splits your balance up into two equal payments. The first is due typically a week or two after tryouts and the second is due about a month later. Due dates can be found on our website as well as on the tryout forms. If for any reason you think you have trouble making the payments, please contact Lindsay Balcom directly. We are willing to work with people in order to make it possible for kids to play, but we deal with this on a case-by-case -case basis. We do not refund for injuries unless a player is found to take your spot on the team, as well as take over your financial obligation. If you decide to quit, there will not be a refund, and you will still be liable for the total amount for the season.